congratulations to all of our 2020 graduates, high school and college, congratulations to you. I am personally extremely proud of each and every one of you. And one of the biggest reasons why I'm so proud is because you guys have managed to succeed in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of a, a, a turmoil, in the midst of a world that is just kind of going crazy. You guys allow, you guys didn't allow that to, to block your success. You did not uh, allow that to stop you from reaching your goal. Uh, and I'm very, very, very proud of you for that. I just want to give you guys an encouraging word uh, very quickly. Uh, Luke chapter 1 verse 37, it simply says this, For with God nothing shall be impossible. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And just to tell you what's going on in the chapter just a little bit, the angel Gabriel, he's come to Mary, he's telling Mary that you're going to bear a child. Uh, you're going to be impregnated by the Holy Spirit with a child. And this child, he is going to be the son of God. And you're going to name him Jesus. And she's a little bit doubtful. You know, she's a she's not really feeling what the angel is saying. So the angel is telling her, um, your cousin Elizabeth, she's pregnant in her old age. And she was barren. But... God did that for her. He tells her that in uh, verse 36. So in verse 37, he goes on to say that, for with God, all things are possible. If God was able to impregnate Elizabeth at her old age and she was barren, God most certainly can do that for you. And I want to tell you guys, when it looks impossible, that is when God steps in. That is when God's strength is shown when it looks like in this pandemic, it looks hard. It looks like you won't be able to find that success. I come to tell you that if you stay with God, any and everything is possible. The sky is the limit. You guys go on, whatever your careers are, go on and do whatever it is that you want to do. If you want to be a doctor, lawyer, policeman, senator, president, whatever it is you want to do with God, all things are possible. If you are graduating high school and you're going to college and you're going to college to be a nurse or whatever you wanted to do, go on. Anything is possible. It does not matter what's happening around you. As you guys can very well see, you were able to get to this point in the middle of a pandemic. So what's happening around you uh, you guys have learned how to how to persevere and to move forward without letting your surroundings affect you. Keep that same energy. Keep that same energy and know that as long as you stay with God, God will stay with you. And with God, absolutely nothing is impossible. Once again, I'm very proud of you guys. Congratulations to our 2020 class, both high school and college. I pray that you guys continue to be blessed and that you continue to succeed. On behalf of Pastor Tolan J. Morgan, First Lady Lenine Morgan, the Board of Trustees, Deacons, and the Fellowship Bible Baptist Church, congratulations, 2020 graduates. You did it. You have accomplished a major milestone in your lives, high school graduation and college graduation. This is a major step and one that should be recognized with immense significance. It took personal commitment to reach this milestone. Your high school diploma and your college degree are great tools that can lead to many opportunities. However, let's not forget that everything you have is by God's grace. It is a gift. God's love is a gift. But the greatest gift of all was his son, Jesus Christ. Shelton Good in 2011 reflected on Malcolm Gladwell's book, Outlier. In that book, Mr. Gladwell said that even the world's most remarkable people do not achieve success alone. 
He goes on to say that serving God and others rather than seeking money and social status should shape the pattern of our achievement. If we're humble, the Holy Spirit can direct our desires towards God's purposes. The Apostle Paul sought God's will, and he said, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable. Romans 12, 2. Mr. Good asked a question, what would Jesus say if he was your commencement speaker? He might say, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Today, there is a lot of unrest and uncertainty among our nation, our communities, and yes, our graduates. But we say to you, God is love, and in him there is love. We are told in Ephesians 4.32, be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. With the spirit of the Lord, go out and conquer the world, and be ye steadfast in his love. God bless you, and congratulations. Good afternoon and congratulations to our 2020 high school and college graduates. Let's look to the Lord in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come now, God, to give your name glory, to give your name praise and honor. Lord God, we come thanking you for this day, Lord God. Lord, we come asking right now, Lord God, for your forgiveness. Lord God, we come right now in thanksgiving Lord God for how you have brought those who have graduated Lord God through the pandemic Lord God through any educational trials and tribulations that they had Lord God Lord we ask right now in the name of Jesus Lord God that you would continue to cover and keep them as only you can Lord for the high school graduates we thank you right now for their families and friends and support systems Lord God we thank you for allowing them, Lord God, to make it through, Lord God. Um, even though things were not in the way that we thought they should be, Lord God, everything was done according to your will. Father God, I thank you for those that are going to college or into the military or whatever trade or whatever they are doing in life, Lord God. Whatever they do, Lord, let it bring your name glory. Father God, I thank you for our college graduates, Lord God. Thank you for giving them the stamina to finish what they started, Lord God. Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that you would, Lord, open up the windows of heaven and pour them out a blessing, Lord God. Lord, I ask that you would give them success in whatever area or field that they are going into, Lord God. Lord, I pray that all of our graduates, Lord God, will be able to go out into the world, Lord God, and make a difference, make an impact, make a change, Lord God, to be successful, Lord God. Give them the courage and the strength that they need, Lord God. Lord, allow them to lean and depend on you. Lord God, I ask that you will provide resources, provide relationships, provide the tools that they need, Lord God, to be successful in whatever area that they go into, Lord God. Lord, I pray right now that whatever you've already put into them, Lord God, remind them of what their purpose is, Lord God. Lord, allow them to remember Lord God, to call upon you in the days of their youth, Lord God. Allow them, Lord God, to be able to reach out to you when they need guidance, when they need strength, when they need direction, when they need love, when they need joy, Lord God. I ask right now in the name of Jesus that you will cover them, keep them from all hurt, harm, and or danger, Lord God. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you will provide financial resources, Lord God. Lord God, whatever they seek their mind to do if it's in your will God it is so Lord remind them that no weapon formed against them shall prosper Lord God I ask that you will cover them Lord God with positive people Lord God with people that mean to do them good and not harm Lord God and as always God allow wherever they go in life Lord God to be a journey that you take them on Lord God and that you will see to it is done Lord God again we thank you for everything Lord God and it's in Jesus name that we pray. Amen.
My name is Andy Anderson Jr. I'm graduating from Northside High School. We're going to Chancellor Academy and Life Learning Night Skills. Hi, my name is Lauren Elizabeth Boyer, and I will be graduating from Hassan County High School. And I will be attending Columbus State University in theater education. And my future goal is to become a theater teacher. Um, Winston Douglas Burnett, Bachelor's of Fine Arts, Mass Media, Varasa State University. My goal is to become a media director in the sports and entertainment industry. Good morning, church family. My name is Jamela Chambers, and I am so excited to say that I have graduated from Valdosta State University with my master's degree in counselor education. It is my current career plan to find a job at a school here in Georgia as a school counselor who is able to lead, support, and advocate for her students. In this role, it is my genuine hope that I will be able to greatly impact the lives of the students that I will work with every day while giving them access to the resources that they need to build and work toward the bright future that lies ahead of them. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kyrie Coley and I am graduating from Houston County High School. I plan to attend Georgia State University and study finance. Hi, my name is Ariana Donald. I'm a graduate of Peach County High School. I will be attending Valdosta State University in the fall and my major will be business marketing. Hi, my name is Monica Dills, and I am graduating from Georgia Military College with a Bachelor of Applied Science in Supply Chain Management and Logistics. My career plans are to continue in my current career until I find something in logistics. My name is Johnny Davis. I'm a graduate from East Georgia State College. My major is being a fitness and nutritionist at East Georgia State College, and I want to be your fitness coach. My name is Mozzie Ellis. I am graduating from Georgia Military College with my associate's degree in social science. I will be furthering my studies at Savannah State University studying social work. Hello, my name is Desmer Gibson. I graduated from Georgia College and State University. And in the fall, I will be teaching at Perry Middle School. I'm very excited. My name is Kevin Gibson. I'm graduating from Ronald Robbins High School, Go Demons. I plan on going to Central Georgia Tech to do law enforcement. I did this for my grandma and my mama. I love y'all, Go Demons. Hi, my name is Jayla Gordon. I'm graduating from Veterans High School. I plan on attending Georgia State in the fall to major in business management and minor in real estate. Hi, my name is Jordan Nigel. I'm a graduating senior from Veterans High School. I will be attending Columbus State University and my major is graphic designs. My name is India LaFaith Jesse. I'm a graduate of Valdosta State University. I received my bachelor's in health science and I'll be furthering my education to receive a license as a physical therapy assistant. Good evening, everyone. I am Dr. Felisa Kendall. I am a 2020 graduate with a doctoral degree in educational leadership. Currently, I serve as an assistant principal, and one of my future goals is to become a college professor in the teacher education program. My name is Jenai Foster, and I'm a proud magna cum laude graduate of Spelman College. My future plans include attending law school so that I can pursue a career as an attorney. Hi, I'm Nathan Larry. I graduated from Middle Georgia State with a bachelor's in business administration. I plan to pursue a career as a civilian logistician at Robbins Air Force Base and travel. My name is Taylor Love. I am a graduate student from the Fort Valley State University where I have received my master's degree in school counseling. I have been offered and also accepted a job in my career field to all graduates. God's grace and mercy is sufficient and everlasting and never lose sight of your purpose. My name is TJ Morgan. I'm graduating from Houston County High School. I will be attending Middle Georgia State University on a basketball scholarship majoring in biology. Go Knights. I am Alonza Rochelle Matthews. I graduated from Western Governors University with my MBA in healthcare management. I am now program faculty at Western Governors University. Hey, my name is Cameron Robinson. I'm graduating from Houston County High School. I plan on attending either Middle Georgia or Georgia State University where I'll be majoring in business marketing and management and also minoring in psychology. Hello, my name is Jasmine Perry and I'm a graduate of Howard High School. 
I will be attending Valdosta State in the fall to major in nursing and minor in African American studies. Go Blazers! Hello church family, my name is Brianna Thomas. I graduated from Walden University with a master's degree in information technology and a specialization in software engineering. Thank you to all my family and friends for the prayers, definitely the prayers, and the motivation to keep going. To all the other graduates, congratulations. My name is Austin Williams, graduating from Central High School in Macon, Georgia, and I will be attending FAMU, majoring in mechanical engineering in the fall. My name is Andrew Witt, and I'm graduating from Houston County Wind Academy, and I'm going to Central Georgia Technical College, and I will be majoring in automotive mechanics. The year of our Lord 2020 AD has already been historic. We've never seen anything like it. It's been a year of trial, testing, turmoil. It's been a year of pandemonium and pandemic. It's also been a year of unprecedented success. Anybody who has been able to succeed at any goal in the year of 2020 has to be, without a doubt, undeniable, a special special, special person who is already marked by God to do something very unique in the earth that we have not seen. And that is going to be the testimony of the class of 2020. You all evidently are uniquely marked to make an impression in human history that will outlive you, that will stand the test of time, that will be studied for years and years to come. Whatever your assignment is, whatever your gift is, you are clearly headed for something great because you've already persevered. You've already won. And we pause today to celebrate your unprecedented victory, to celebrate you winning in a way that inspires the world. Everything that has stood against you, you've stood up to it, you've stood against it, and you have won. Today, we celebrate your victory. The last four years, whether it was high school or college, was all preparatory to get you ready to be great in this world. And we so look forward to the greatness that has yet to be revealed and manifested through the class of 2020. I wanna say a good God bless you and thank you to all of the parents who have supported your graduate through this year, through these last four years. You've prayed them through, you've studied with them, you've invested in them. Thank you for being concerned parents. Today is a testimony to how great of a parent you are in seeing your loved one or your son or daughter graduate within this context. And then to all of the 2020 graduates. We congratulate you and thank you for your academic achievement of graduating. Now it's time to go show the world what you made of. Now it's time to continue your journey of greatness and make your mark in human history. Congratulations to all of you and may God's power and grace continue to be on your life. Would you join me in a word of prayer? Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for this day. We give you glory and honor for empowering us to celebrate victories within the midst of conflict and struggle, that you have shown us signs of progress 
signs of greatness in our young people and in our 2020 graduates. Thank you for blessing them to graduate. Thank you for their academic achievements. Thank you, Lord, for strengthening them through this journey that they have now arrived at the next phase of life. We give you glory, Lord, that all that you have invested in them, all that you have imparted in them through their teachers, through their professors, through their parents, through their colleagues, through their friends, through their fellow students, will now all be used to fulfill your plans and purposes for their lives. And we thank you that as you brought them this far, you'll continue to be with them. Bless their families, their homes, bless their parents. And we pray God that you will order their steps and stops. Not that they would be great by themselves, but that their impact in the world would be great. And we give you glory for it now. In Jesus' name, amen. May the grace of the Lord continue to keep you 2020 graduates. And we are so excited about what you're going to do to change the world.